If you wish to accelerate the data transfer, reduce latency, and maximize the efficiency of your IoT device, you definitely need DME feature. I will pivot around microSDK's DMA library in this episode. Well, from now on, Nacto has DMA library officially supported. My name is Branko and welcome to another embedded episode about Nacto. DMA module, which is inside a microcontroller, is designed to transfer data between different memory regions directly, without intervention from the microcontroller's CPU. Well, that transfer, that data transfer is being done inside the microcontroller's memory, right? There are several types of memories inside the microcontroller, which implies there are several types of data transfers possible. I will exhibit one of them during this video. I will transfer data from flash memory to RAM memory of a microcontroller. Let's go. First thing to be done, enable DMA library inside Nectar's library manager. After enabling it, I need data to be transferred, right? So I will read some simple data from flash memory, hence the const keyword while defining this array, and I will write that exact data to RAM memory with the help of DMA and without the help of microcontroller's central processing unit or CPU in short. I can conclude that flash memory would be my source address and RAM memory would be my destination address. Needless to say, checking the final outcome of this DMA transfer is often imperative. Generally speaking, preferred way of transferring data with the DMA is with the help of channels. So I will define an instance of this DMA property as well. I will insert DMA object and its configuration instance, which are also needed for DMA module to work properly. Inserting macros for buffer size, then microcontroller's DMA module, stream and channel to be used. Basic stuff done. From this point on, I am able to make use of DMA methods, functions. Now let's finish it up and insert those DMA methods into code. I would like transfer of data to happen. I would like transfer of data to stop, which is totally logical. After stopping current DMA transfer, I'm eager to check the result of transaction. Finally, I will deactivate DMA module by disabling its hardware capability. Those would be the essentials of how to utilize DMA inside Nectar Studio. One thing I haven't done is the init part of the DMA controller. Let's initialize DMA controller and put some configuration parameters in it. DMA set transfer config will perform the following. Abort any transfer DMA controller is currently doing. Configure source and destination addresses. Set how many transactions are there to be completed. Okay, enough of the DMA set transfer config function. Setting the mode to be either normal or of a circular type is configured in the DMA set mode function. DMA mode normal is basically, hey, transfer whatever data you have to transfer, then stop, which implies DMA mode circular loops back and continues transferring data. Okay, moving on to DMA set direction function, from which you will be able to select four different transfer directions, which is nice. I'll be setting this to DMA direction memory to memory, flash to RAM memory to be totally concrete with you guys. DMA set priority. Yep, it's self-explanatory. There are four different types of transfer priority with the medium as a default one. Next function, which is obligatory, is DMA open, which will basically turn on DMA controller, which is inside the microcontroller. Next part of the code will perform the checkup of a channel. Basically, is it free or not, which is very important. When is this logic most effective? When you perform DMA open more than once. Remember that. The last part of the code I will insert will specify data width of the source and destination, and finally whether the address registers should be incremented or not. Moment of truth, guys. I need the result of DMA transfer from flash memory to RAM memory. I will flash this code by starting the debug. I will get to starting the transfer, stopping it, and finally checking the result. Both of those arrays are telling me the same. They are telling me DMA rules which tells me DMA transfer from flash to RAM was a success. Believe it or not, DJ is using DMA controller without even knowing it. Transferring audio samples between audio peripherals such as microphones and memory buffers for playback. I just told you job description of a DJ. SD cards, USB drives, image processing, network communication, all of those branches utilize DMA controller. As you have just witnessed, DMA is an integral part of the Nectar Studio. You can actually give it a try and give us some honest feedback. Okay guys, that's it. I'll be seeing you in the next episode. Bye.